So what's going on with Mercedes this year? And particularly Lewis Hamilton. Now, it's Lewis's worst start of the year. I don't think the car is there. And I had a feeling, you know, going into this weekend that this could actually be Lewis's worst ever year in Formula One. Uh, given that, you know, he, at some point he's going to lose interest and just think, start thinking about moving to Ferrari next year. But then it comes out after practice uh, today. Uh, I mean, they only got, we won't talk about practice two because it, it was wet. So just, just going on a free practice one. You know, they're saying that they're pleasantly surprised by the car. <laughs> uh, looking at the results here, Lewis was fifth and George was, was fourth. And there was only uh, what? Uh, uh, quick mass, 13 one thousandths of a second between them. <laughs> so, so not much. Uh, yeah, so, so do I put faith this week in, in, in them that they're you know, going to come out with a, a decent performance? I don't think I can do that just based on one practice session. Uh, so my predictions this weekend, you know, Max isn't going to have his car break down two, two races in a row. So we put him on pole and for the win. But let me know. This is your opportunity. You know, my opinion isn't what counts. What do you think? Do you think Mercedes are going to turn it around? Do you think Max is going to win this weekend? Let me know in the comments. I've gone with uh, with Perez uh, as uh, I haven't made that uh, full screen. Perez as uh, second. You know, he wasn't far behind Max in free practice one and was second overall. So, I mean, he, he does keep on disappointing, but. Max, uh, other teammates of Max have shown that you know it's difficult in Red Bull. It really is. I, I, I guess the car isn't easy to drive, and Max knows how to drive it. A bit like uh, the latter years of uh, Sebastian Vettel at Red Bull. Uh, we have to speak about Carlos. I mean, what what a performance at Australia. I mean, I I thought. It would take him a bit to get back into it after having an operation, you know, not, not a minor operation either. Now, he had his appendix removed. So these things take a while to recover, but it shows us how fit these drivers are. To come back and to win, I mean, hats off to him. He's now going to be the sought-after driver for, for next year. He should be. They should be all clamming for him. Uh, then... You know, I, I backed Charles for the last race and he just completely disappointed. You know, just disappointed. Uh, we'll come on to my predictions of last race later. Uh, so we, we're putting him fourth and then then I don't really know what's going to happen. I, d I don't know. I think you know, this should suit McLaren. So I've put Norris up there and then just sort of Dom George, Piastri, Lewis, I. No, are, are they quicker than McLaren this this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what sort of upgrades people will come with either. Uh, then uh, I think Yuki he did well last race. I, I think he, you know, he's going to do well in his home race. He should do. And then the experience head of uh, the Hulk in in tenth. And of course, Max with fastest lap. I mean, who, who else can can you see it being really this weekend? Uh, I don't know how it's going to go. I haven't even checked if there's a forecast for rain in the race that could completely me mess this up. But those are my my predictions. Uh, let me know what you are predicting this weekend. Uh, just looking at the league and the way race results. Oh, uh, for last race, well done to Matt going purple he won the race 11 championship points first time uh, someone other than John well won well apart from the first week Clayton equal John so nice to see someone knock John off the top spot even though John would disagree with that 
Uh, as in looking at, it's not gonna load now, is it? Here you go. Matt's picks. Uh, pretty solid from the, the positions outside the podium. Uh, so there, there we go. Lots of green. When it was a race that was really hard to predict, I think. You know, with, with the <laughs> with what went on. Uh, for myself, I changed my predictions for the first time. As you can see, there's no uh, no purple early brew points uh, there. So, and I completely regretted it because I think had I stuck with uh, my predictions in the video, not only would I have got the two extra bonus points, they would have been better points <laughs> overall. Uh, should I show you my picks? If anyone is interested. Uh, the only thing worked out here is uh, getting the bonus for Alonso. Oh, didn't Alonso get downgraded? Oh, I think that is after the downgrade. Anyway, you know, I I changed to put Perez and no, I didn't. That's actually what happened. Yeah, I changed to put Perez and there and he just disappointed me right okay uh so that's that uh let's show you the leaderboard so max now got the hat he jumps above me uh but it's still quite close although john's trying to get a bit of a gap but if you fancy joining the league the link is in the description plenty still to play for you can maybe get yourself on the top of the pile for future races here uh, and uh, hopefully enjoy watching the race this weekend uh, I'll see you again soon guys goodbye